Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. This is episode five today, and I have just been doing quite a lot of work to the spine. So if you haven't seen my previous video, I think it was episode three, I built this spine, but I've been doing quite a lot of work this morning, as I have just bought myself a long handled shovel. It makes it so much easier to pack it all in. And as you can see, it's looking quite nice. I've added about a foot of height to it. So before it was like there, but now obviously it's up to there and yeah the current situation is you go down it and then hit this roller but this roller is actually quite steep here so whereas what i wanted to do is make you have more speed i think it will probably slow me down so i need to make it a bit longer and then higher at the, in the middle so then you've got more speed to hit this hip over here so I think that is what we're going to do in today's episode, build this hip. It is pretty much already in the right place, so all we've got to do really is shape it all up and make it look like a really nice hip. So we're going to be getting on with that as the first task and then the second task is making the berm much bigger so that we can go off this new drop in that I've built. So yeah, let's go straight into a build lap of doing this hip. So guys, my camera did actually die yesterday. I have still got a problem with my camera batteries, but I was getting on with this hip right here. As you can see, I did get quite a lot of progress done. So we're gonna be coming up and then doing this gap and landing down there. But it was really crumbly yesterday, but we've had a lot of rain. Um, as you can see, everywhere's very wet. So yeah, this should all stick together quite nicely now and obviously got the nice long handled shovel as well. So let's go into a time lapse. This hip is actually looking so nice. It's just one of those jumps that look really good. It doesn't look that big from here, but if you think We're going to be hitting it from down here, so it's pretty much from here up to that jump. And because it's so wet, it's just looking really nice. So yeah, mainly you just need to do this side now. These sides are pretty much done. So yeah, I'll move the camera around so you can see a different spot. And we'll get straight back into the time lapse. So guys, it is starting to look really good now. I am so out of breath from doing this. It was freezing cold when I got down here earlier, but God, I'm not cold anymore. But yeah, I've just sort of, as you've seen, brushed all of that around with the broom. So now I've just got to pack it all in, get rid of all these leaves, make it look all good. And then we'll have to start doing some work with this. So guys, the landing is now done as well as you can see. So everything's done. Um, just need to sort out that roller and then put a berm in and this line will be rideable. So the next time it dries up, we're gonna be making a video here riding the whole line. So I do need to now cut some of these branches off because obviously we're gonna be coming up here 
and we'll be hitting our head on these branches. So I've got a saw, another very rusty one, but I'm gonna be getting up there and cutting that branch down and this one and a few of these to get it all sorted. The saw broke and cut me. Well, we're not gonna be cutting anymore anyway, so, um, oh, it's really annoying me. The fact that it's just sort of where it snapped off, it's just sort of poking out. You're never gonna hit your head on that, I don't think. But it's just, it is just bugging me. I'm, I'm not gonna, like, I feel like you're not, you're definitely not gonna hit your head on it, but it's just one of those things that I want gone, so I have another saw. Right, so I just remembered I do have another saw. So I'm gonna head over and get that now. It's so wet, I'm nearly sliding all over the place. But yeah, I think down here, I do have a proper saw, like a, a tree cutting saw. Like, I'm not sure what they're called really. So I can't find the saw that I'm looking for, but I found this. This is my electric, hedge cutter but it's been down here for a long old time I completely forgot about it it has been in the dry so hopefully it still works so the rest of the branches are gonna come down with this right that is much better now nobody's gonna be hitting their head on any branches. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these videos because I'm going to be having so many videos coming out. I'm going to be riding these soon. Um, the pit bike track, that's also nearly done. So this little area down here is going to be so good. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe. Thanks for watching.